25th of May is Kanan's birthday. Happy birthday, Kanan. We love you. Sending you blessings from Japan. I'm speaking with Carly on Skype right now, and uh, I'd like to share with you one of my philosophy theories about appreciation and the law of appreciation. So, my experience is that I have always faced a lot of challenges around appreciation. Most of the time I don't feel like people appreciate me. I don't feel like I am appreciated by others. Even when people are standing right in front of me and saying, Oh, you're so wonderful. In my heart I don't accept their appreciation. And I think the root of it is because I simply don't have appreciation for other people. And even when I do say thank you, I know that they don't feel my appreciation. They don't feel that my thanks or my gratitude come from a place of honor, or that they are coming from the truth of my heart. They think that it's lip service, or that I'm just saying the right words to express appreciation, or to express gratitude. However, they're not receiving it into their hearts because they don't feel like it's coming from my heart. And so this lesson of appreciation goes round and round and round. And the only way to learn the lesson of appreciation is to have an experience in which you're faced with the challenge of the emotions that come up when you are disappointed because you don't feel appreciated. In life, you are continuously presented with different scenarios, and within each one of those scenarios, let's call a scenario an experience, within each experience, you're given an opportunity to learn a lesson. God is presenting you with an experience in which you can learn a particular lesson. If you don't get it, if you don't learn the lesson within that experience or within that scenario, then you're going to pre be presented with another one, another experience or another scenario in which you can be presented with that same lesson. The lesson itself could be anything, whatever the issue may be at the time. Today we're talking about appreciation. And so, when you're so in it, you can't see the forest for the trees. And so when you're face to face with the issue and you can't step outside the box or you can't zoom out and see the big picture, you need to simply stop. Stop thinking. Take a few deep breaths. Do some chanting or do some pranayama. Using your mind to understand a concept that is rooted in your heart is actually challenging. And so, good luck. I don't actually believe in luck. So when I say good luck, it's always a joke for me. For me, I believe in the power of manifestation. And therefore, every experience that you have is an experience presented to you with a lesson inside so that you can continue your evolution. So I'd say best wishes. I wish you the best for your progress and your success with overcoming your challenges of appreciation. I think that's all I'm going to say today. And my phone is ringing. <laughs> Hello.